a chapter a day to brighten your way. Why did God allow the enemies to destroy the temple? Hello friends, let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Psalms chapter 74. This is a psalm of teaching. It was not written during Asaph's lifetime, so the author may have been a descendant of Asaph. This psalm was written during the Israelites' captivity in Babylon, when the temple in Jerusalem was ruthlessly destroyed by their enemies. The author wondered why God would allow his people and his temple to be humiliated, so he prayed that God would come and see it for himself. He longed to see God's mighty power destroy the works of their enemies. Let's read chapter 74 together. Psalm 74 a masculine of Asaph. O God, why do you cast us off forever? Why does your anger smoke against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation, which you have purchased of old, which you have redeemed to be the tribe of your heritage. Remember Mount Zion, where you have dwelt. Direct your steps to the perpetual ruins. The enemy has destroyed everything in the sanctuary. Your foes have roared in the midst of your meeting place. They set up their own signs for signs. They were like those who swing axes in a forest of trees. And all its carved wood they broke down with hatchets and hammers. They set your sanctuary on fire. They profaned the dwelling place of your name, bringing it down to the ground. They said to themselves, We will utterly subdue them. They burned all the meeting places of God in the land. We do not see our signs, there is no longer any prophet, and there is none among us who knows how long. How long, O God, is the foe to scoff? Is the enemy to revile your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand, your right hand? Take it from the fold of your garment and destroy them. Yet God, my King, is from of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your might. You broke the heads of the sea monsters on the waters. You crushed the heads of Leviathan. You gave him as food for the creatures of the wilderness. You split open springs and brooks. You dried up ever-flowing streams. Yours is the day, yours also the night. You have established the heavenly lights and the sun. You have fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You have made summer and winter. Remember this, O Lord, how the enemy scoffs, and a foolish people reviles your name. Do not deliver the soul of your dove to the wild beasts. Do not forget the life of your poor forever. Have regard for the covenant, for the dark places of the land are full of the habitations of violence. Let not the downtrodden turn back in shame. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, O God, defend your cause. Remember how the foolish scoff at you all the day. Do not forget the clamor of your foes, the uproar of those who rise against you, which goes up continually. Why did God allow the enemies to destroy his temple? To understand this, we have to look back at Israel's history. In the past, the Israelites relied so heavily on the temple that they began to think the temple itself was giving them power. Over time, they forgot to really put their hearts into establishing a relationship with God. This was similar to a previous situation we mentioned, when the Israelites relied on the Ark of the Covenant to win their battles and misunderstood the core of its purpose. Later, God allowed enemies to destroy the temple three times. I believe this was because God wanted to help the Israelites break their incorrect views. When the things they relied on, such as the temple and the Ark of the Covenant, were gone, they could turn back and focus on relying on God alone. Dear friends, what we might see as a story of destruction and cruelty may have been the beginning of rebuilding in God's plans. As we slowly learn to see things through God's perspective, I believe many of our ways of thinking will become very different. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, please help us see things in a new light and understand that your plans are always higher than our thoughts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you and I love you too.